Back down memory lane. Let's go back down, y'all. I want to talk about back down memory lane. Mm -hmm. Back down memory lane. We're going to go back down memory lane. Back down memory lane. <laughs> back down memory lane, man. Check this out. I'm two years in, y'all. I've been here for two years. Wow. Seems like I've been here for a while, wow. I be putting in that work. That's why, man. Um, before Battle Rap came to the game, man. Before Battle Rap Horrible. Before Battle Truth came to the game, man. Y'all funny how y'all work, man. <laughs> This game is crazy. The name of my show was Battle Truth. I always start the show up. I'd be like, welcome to Battle Truth. I don't know you. I'm the Honorable Malachi Markilius. Nobody, I don't care about Malachi. Your name, Battle Truth. They named me the show. I'm steady telling them the show is Battle Truth. My name is Malachi. No, you're Battle Truth. Regardless to what the show is, that's your name. <laughs> so I'm actually named the show, which is crazy. Do you? Do you? <laughs> do you name the people like when you see, like if you saw Mike Epps? Do you say Friday? Hey, what's up, Friday? You get what I'm saying? Like no, Battle Truth is the show. But guess what? Now I'm calling myself Battle Truth. Yeah, you know. Now I got to, got to go with what the people said. They said, no, you're Battle Truth. That's who you are. Do you help, you understand me? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <sighs> come to the game. But before I came to the game, how was Battle Rap blogging before I came to the game? In case people try to lie. You know, I got to pump this up. Before I came to the game, man, Caps wasn't really doing blogs. He wasn't even really doing a radio show. Tony Broden was running that thing. Black was barely doing reaction videos anymore and wasn't really putting up videos and blogs. It was no such thing as champion. No such thing at all. Then you had unbiased. He had stopped going to events and stuff. And maybe would blog every now and then. Huh. So it was like mediocre. Laid back. It wasn't really fired up. It wasn't energized. It wasn't all this action like it is now. Then I came to the game. Did a blog. Then my guy told me that it was going viral. And I got to reading the comments and all the people were just asking me to do more, do more. We need more of these, more of these. Where you at? You what the game been missing. They don't tell it real like this. And I was just incorporated being the judge. Okay, I might as well be a judge. I might as well go ahead and be the mediator between this whole sport and keep it real because I run a studio. I do music, write for people, produce and all that stuff. So guess what? Judging battle rap should be simple, man. Then I started incorporating my personality and things that people didn't know about. The comedy, the rapping, the singing, impersonations, you know what I'm saying? Stories, testimonies of who I am. And it took off. It changed battle rap forever, man. I'm talking about it changed battle rap forever. I made these brothers start working, man. I started getting calls from people, man. Inside the, uh, I started getting calls from people inside the URL, uh, upper, they know, <laughs> don't y'all, sorry though, I was even offered 
I was even offered to come to this, this with some other people. I was even offered to come to live out there to put my Battle Truth show in a building where I would have a lot of access to a lot of things. I was even promised to be more successful with these people than doing it on my own quicker. It'll be faster because the demand that's out there on the East, East Coast in uh, New York is so big when it comes to this profession, okay? Now, um, I also got the call, like, well, you know, fly you out, put you up in a hotel room for free, give you free tickets to, I'm keeping it real. <laughs> you know, God know the truth, you know, me too. Um, and I'm like, wow. Am I really that good at this like that? And I ain't even really putting that much effort in. Like I really can go, like I really can go harder than this. And I ain't even really been going hard in this like that. Then I sit back and then people were telling me, like, hey, this is a call I got. I got this call from a, another big person. Like, hey, dude, you got a lot of people mad at you because you changing the game. You changing the game. They can't compete with you, man. So you know what they finna do? They finna start two shows. They said... They finna do a show with Jay Black coming out with his own show. Then they finna get Chris Chris Unbiased his own show called Chris and Mickey Facts. Then they finna do Jay Black and Champion. They finna come out with these shows. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to compete with you because you killing the game right now. And they can't compete with you. And some people actually mad about it. That's the call I got. From inside sources around them to do everything. And lo and behold, lo and behold, months later, what happened? Champion was birth. Chris and Mickey Fax was birth. You know what I'm saying? Caps called me like, man, man, I'm finna start back blogging, man. Forget this stuff. Because I was killing the game. I started making everybody work. I stepped, look, Chris Unbiased started going to events more. That's when that Roman started coming. Bloggers don't go to events. That's when he started doing that. That was that was to address me. He he on a video with hip hop is real. And uh I forgot which event it was, but him but knowledge is interviewing him. He got out the car and I was like, uh oh, Baj, you out here? Cause he hadn't he had stopped going to events. I was making so much noise. He didn't have nothing else to incorporate, really. So he was like, no, I ain't finna just let this dude come in. We've been here first. We've been doing this. I got to get back on it. You know what I'm saying? They had to start getting back active because they was laid back. It wasn't no action taking place. They were too laid back. They wasn't really doing nothing. They were just sitting, laid back, release something every now and then, do something every now and then. They wasn't working like this, man. When I came in bombing and I got to feeding the people all the time and I... Basically, for the most part, was the one feeding everybody and everybody talking about it and stuff like that. Like, man, that new dude, that that new blogger, that dude, fire. And he funny. And he's, you know what I'm saying? They even knew it like, <laughs> they even knew it like, damn. You know what I'm saying? And he constant. See, what they didn't know was, would it be temporarily or would he really, is he really here to stay? If this a brother like other people who come and go, or if this a person who actually so, his impact going to be so crazy, he actually here to stay. And when they start seeing my drive, crazy. My drive was crazy. Like, this dude dropping like 10 blogs a day, like, and they all fire. 10 fire blogs a day, like, this dude loaded up. Like, do he ever stop? No, I don't. I just got here. I got to build it up. Let's go. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? 
Everybody talking. Everybody talking. People can't compete. Let me tell you why you can't compete. Because that's not what you is. You can't wake up one day and say, I want to be funny today. Either you funny or you not. You can't be fake and then wake up and say, you know what? I think I just want to keep it real. Could I just keep it real? Not when you ain't been keeping it real. No, you can't. Because people already know you're not known for keeping it real. It takes time to uh, change that mind state that they already know who you are. So people was already fixed on who the community knew they were. When this new personality came in, it just changed the game. The wave just was crazy. Even most of the people who so-called, of these other bloggers who so-called don't like me and try to come at me just to get notoriety, all of them was my fans too. All them, they on record saying it. All of them was my fans too. They just knew like, damn, we might as well get on this gravy train and ride this thing out because this dude is taking off. And it birthed all these things. People don't want to admit it, but it's the truth. Look, numbers don't lie. All you got to do is go to the numbers and go to the, look at the numbers, look at the numbers and the month of my arrival. Then you will see, you will see like, yeah, that is true. It wasn't, we didn't have none of that. It, it, that is true. Everybody know that. Who don't know that? But like I said, I got the calls from people, man. I got the calls from people. I don't even know how, 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 well, well. When I got the call from the different people that's in these inner circles with them, I don't know none of these dudes. Remember my, y'all know my slogan? Oh, no, you. I didn't know nobody. Welcome to Battle Truth. My point of view, I don't know you. I don't, I don't know nobody. I don't know battle rapping, league on. I don't know nobody. I just was a regular person that would watch battle rap. You know what I'm saying? The people I like. I didn't watch everybody. Just certain people I like. I watch the stars. I watch all the stars. I don't watch the little people. I watch the people who are considered to be the stars in battle rap. There's no disrespect to the little people, but it's too many of y'all. I watch the people who are already established, who is making the noise and building the brands up to what they is right now today. The superstars did that. Those were the battles I watched. I didn't watch everybody and all that. No, no, no. That's why you can't tell me nothing about the people who I did watch and been watching for years. All the superstars. So I know exactly what I'm talking about and I know what I'm doing and I know the history of who I've been watching. Now, you start changing the game. Start making everybody work because you had to keep up with me. When you dropping, I'm dropping. Bang, 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 bang. And they all different. Ten blogs, all of them different. I'm doing everything. I'm doing Bible. I, I bought Bible study and teaching God to the battle rap community, which reminds me, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna talk about that. I just want to uh, address some people. Yeah, to this community, to this community. Uh, who, 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 for the most part, was just disrespecting God like it's nothing. And a lot of them still try to, but when I get to defending the word of God, what you going to say? I'm going to prove that you are a liar, which reminds me, be God, when you going to accept me? Yeah, that's going to be a blog, too. When you going to accept these challenges? I want these brothers. If y'all on record publicly shaming and disrespecting Jesus Christ, saying he fake, saying it plagiarism, saying that uh, it ain't real and all this, okay. Well, you're talking to the right guy. I can defend it. Let's go in front of all the people. Let's see, let's see who know what they're talking about and who don't. But anyway, that's another story. Let's get back to this. Bought that to it. Then I started doing my master smack and they love that. Then the battle rap behind bars killed the game. That queen flip favorite. See, when you got, this when you know you cold. Everybody got their own favorites. Don't nobody just like me for one thing. Everybody like different things. Robin and her husband like lessons in love. You know what I'm saying? Star like it too. Then you got a lot of the brothers like Kenshiro, Hector and them and they like power hours. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you got <laughs> bars and real talk and other people in them like, 
battle rap behind bars. Then you got Kenshiro who like battle rap trivia, battle truth trivia rather. Then you got <laughs> I'm sorry, I just do a lot, man. So uh, I just be letting that drama go, man. Then you got a lot of the people who love the roasting sessions. Come on, it wasn't even no such thing. Don't y'all look, let's keep it real. I I'm Mr. Kill Shot. Who invented the kill shot? Let's keep it hot. I did that. D.I. Henny Man. That's mine. <laughs> you can use it, though. <laughs> it's like it's both of ours. I just let you keep it at your house. <laughs> I missed the kill shot. That was my slogan when I was giving the... <laughs> That's my. That was mine, too. Them kill shots was crazy, wasn't it, man? <laughs> I was giving them brothers kill shots they could never come back from. That was fire. Then the um, then the uh, the roasting sessions. That's me. That's me. Yeah, come on, man. You got to be fire to do a twenty minute roast straight. Twenty minutes. Don't know what you saying from the first minute. To the 20 minute all fire. Those roasting sessions was crazy. <laughs> I was lighting them brothers up. The roasting sessions was classics, man. I'm talking about from the gyms to the butterfly one to the sun dude one to the Rome DMV one to the angry fan one to the um New Jersey twerk one to the shotgun shit one to the ab one <laughs> to the mook ones. Oh those man. The roasting session. So much, man. I'm talking about so much, man. I Come on, man. I changed this game forever. Y'all remember my blog I did called The Game Changer with the Michael Jordan, uh, 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 with the Michael Jordan thumbnail part one and part two? They didn't like that. Say The Game Changer. I didn't change this game and flipped it around, man. Man. Come on, man. I'm on a whole nother level, man. And I just like the fact that all the people know it, man. Been showing me mad love, rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? I changed the game forever. I changed all the rules, man. Like, in order to be a successful blogger, this is what you had to do. You had to go to events. You had to know battle rappers, who battle rappers were. You had to get certification for, from, uh, had to be certified through leagues. None of that. These brothers have to have, you have to have your own Facebook groups and been in Facebook groups. None of that. None of that. And it's because of the people. Man, the people took me on, look, the people put me on their shoulders and I've been here ever since. The people put me on their shoulders, I've been here ever since. That's why I give all the credit to the people and all I did, we bought it together. The people came and accepted me as being a representative. They, they, they rep, uh, representative, and then what I did was incorporated my talents with it, man, and we've been rocking with each other ever since, ever since. And the crazy thing people don't get, the more and more and more you try to knock it, the more and more you try to say something against it, it just makes it bigger and better for me because everybody know. Everybody know. Everybody know. And even when the ones be trying to act like they don't like it or they don't like watching me, they can't help but continue to watch. They know. They know. They just don't. Look, you hate because you can't do what you see and working because you, you can't be me just like I can't be you. If people like you, I can't be you. That's why they like you. Just like our faces are different, our needs are different. We different for a reason. You can't get mad at me because people like me because of what I do. That's what makes me me. You need to figure out what you good at and bring out something that's good in you that you need to incorporate and hopefully think that the people going to like you for it. So before I came to Battle Rap, man, this game ain't never been active like this. I got them brothers working. I bought y'all champion. That's a fact. If I never come out, that never don't even exist. They could try to say, yes, it was. It was going to come eventually. No, no, no. 
it made them have to search for new ideas and do something different because I was taking over the game. That's a fact. You can say what you want. If I never came to the game, man, you wouldn't have a lot of people that blogging now. From a deleted dude, all thing popping dude, sun dude, DME Detroit, uh, 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 so many other people, man. I just can't name off the top of my head. I bought you all them brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? And y'all getting entertained as a result of that. Y'all being entertained as a result of that, man. You get what I'm saying? These, these, these things, whether good or bad, work for the entertainment of the battle rap community. Now, I'm also guilty of, uh, uh, um, which I can't get the blame for it, but bringing in some of these idiots, you know what I'm saying? But y'all don't like them anyway, so you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, so... The face of battle rap blogging, man, changed dramatically, man. I mean, it'll never be the same again. It'll never be the same again. I mean, could you imagine? Let, let you, let's just keep it real. People ain't going to want to keep it real. What if I wasn't the battle rap blogger? How would this game be if I wasn't the battle rap blogger? Let's just be honest. How would it be? Right, right. Could people really be honest enough to say that? Like, dang, what if Battle Truth wasn't a battle rap blogger and we never heard of him? Right, right. Because ever since I've been here, drama. Straight up fire, action, drama. Now, when I say drama, I don't mean bad drama, even though it's been bad drama, but I've been meaning like entertainment at its highest form of battle rap blogging. Ain't never been like this before. Ever. Ever. You get what I'm saying? And I'm about that action, man. You know? And we changed the game. We changed the game forever, man. People even people even made comebacks. People even made comebacks. And people actually built a built a platform off on me and made comebacks off of me. Remember by the fly was done. The battle rap community gave up on that dude. He crossed a golden boy. He crossed a golden boy. Man, that dude dropped like 5,000 people unsubscribed from him, and his number was steady going down low. How did he make it come back again to be received? Me. Battle true. <laughs> I opened the door for the people to like him. He don't want to accept that. He don't want to receive that. Remember when I was like, they like, no, get him out of the community. Get him out of here. Get, get him out. And with Catherine was shooting at him and all that. No, no, because at the end of the day, that man ain't no more guiltier than any one of y'all. That's the case. Y'all all need to go. Y'all all need to go. Okay. He was Kenny Lewis. Big deal. Okay. He did J. Black bogus. And at the end of the day, y'all done done worse stuff than that. So if he got to go, you got to go. See? Coming from a person like me said, see, see, that, see, that's how I am. Regard to what, I got to keep it real. I got to keep it real. Even though I think a dude may move funny, let Jeff be honest. He ain't did nothing that bad when he got to go that. Come on. He might, might as well make it. Everybody got to go. Come on. So, opened that up for him. Then the thing came out. Oh, he beat up his girl. Dude going to come off, take his shirt off, show his little chest. <laughs> Oh, you beating up on girls now? You beating up on girls now? <laughs> and that's how he came back. <laughs> Been back ever since, little player. <laughs> you ain't even got to thank me for that, though. You ain't even, that ain't even what I'm mad at. You ain't even got to thank me for that, though. That put him back. He went from all them dislikes to, to when he did that, they got all them likes and got back in the game and been sitting there ever since. Ain't that the truth, Vada? You, you, you ain't going to admit that, is you? <laughs> right? <laughs> Same thing for the one dude. The one dude who always be trying to hate. Irrelevant. Nobody was checking in for him or doing nothing like that. Got on that Battle Truth Surf. Got on that Battle Truth Surf board. 
Oh, got to sit in the little high. Be like, oh, okay, okay, okay. I might well just keep talking. Y'all like that? Y'all like that? Then people start hating it like, damn, dude. Okay, look, what else? What else? Damn, do something else. <laughs> Come on, man. Battle truth, man. Battle truth. Hate it or love it. It is what it is, y'all. They don't want to admit it. Change the game forever, man. Change the game forever. And I'm thankful. I'm grateful for the family, man. Um, it's your boy Battle Truth, man. Just going back down memory lane, man. Just opening y'all up to how things was, man. I brought a lot to this game. A lot. I ain't even done yet. Fantasy Battle Rap change the game forever. <laughs> Night Court, it changed the game forever. And this battle truth, styrofoams and ashtrays, hit the link in the description box, phone number 414-235-6760, send me proof of purchase through a screenshot. I'm going to put you in our group, exclusive blogs in that group and in that group only. More coming, more interviews, everything finna be fire going down. Get styrofoams and ashtrays, $1. Hit the link in the description box, send you right to it, man. Support your boy and this battle truth. That ain't my judgment, that's some questions. It's yours.